And Sonic State's coverage of the exciting Superbooth 2019 starts here, and our first up is Teenage Engineering, and we got Tobias here. What an honor to be first up. <laughs> well, there's quite a lot of stuff we're going to have a look at here. So we're going to start first with an update of the OPZ. Yes. Now this I'm super excited about. Cool. OPZ now gains sampling. Oh. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Hooray! Well, of course. I mean, it's 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 a given. Right. Uh, and uh, so let's let's show you a very early stage. Early but, stages. Uh, so you, it's kind of like the OP1, where you have drum sampling and, and uh, uh, synth sampling. So six, uh, six seconds and twelve seconds. What we do here, I connected it to the to the app, and if I hold this, I can now go into uh, a waveform editor, and I can sample from the built-in microphone, and I can sample from a headset. So. Um, uh, and of course, it's the same like the OP1. Nice, you can, you can change the start it. points and loop points. Yeah, yeah awesome. And look at the graphics, that look, that's really nice. Yeah, it's, it's, it helps when you uh, want to sample edit. Mm, and sample edit, If yep. you see the, the interface here, you can still oh. use it standalone. Excellent. Just like everything else in the, in the unit, mm -hmm. it does help with, with uh, graphics. Ah, okay, excellent. So, I mean, in terms of... Um, this is, a, a, it will be a free software update for everybody. Uh, Any idea roughly when? I, I couldn't say, but okay. I guess it's coming. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, now we can see it. We know it's coming. Yeah, so that's yeah, really yeah. exciting. And yeah, come on, come on, what you can say? No, it's, uh, there's been some rumors about a sampler module. Right. Uh, we haven't announced anything about that, but that could could come eventually. But mm -hmm. right now, it's just software. Now uh, the little module is available now, though. The the, the little uh, the, the, this gives us kind of uh, MIDI ports and CV exactly. CV and gate ports. Yeah. yeah. So this is. This is the first of the uh, OPC modules. Yeah. Now let me open this for you. So it's basically like a cartridge. This is called OpLab, which gives you this in and out. And with um, a stereo to mono split, you get uh, two, oh, neat. Yeah. two signals here. Oh, excellent. And then you can uh, set what, whatever you want to connect. That is available to buy now, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's excellent. Or actually, I think it's sold out because we ordered such a small <laughs> uh, production <laughs> okay. one first. But it will be out soon again. Mm -hmm. Now, we see we saw the 400 launched at NAM this year. Yes. Um, but if we pan down here, here's something quite interesting. Mm -hmm. So explain what's going on. Well, so this is, as we've been saying, a modular synth synthesizer, mm -hmm. but we released it in in uh, in a set system uh, so far. But right from the start, you could really take your own modules, or take the individual modules and make your own face plates and uh, just mount it to your Eurorack. <laughs> and what we did is, in here is, uh, sorry. Uh, we have the power distribution module from our system and oh, wired yeah. that to, to the bus board here. And then we power all our modules. Because oh, it's a different to, power requirement for the... I mean, it's, it's just a cable, basically, but it's easy <laughs> when when you have the, the distribution board. Okay, great. So. And it's quite interesting to see the, yeah, uh, yeah. the pocket operators there. So oh, it's, um, that's it, what's that, LPZW module? Yes, it's called Leipzig Vest. Right. Uh, and it's uh, um, a dedicated fan of us who <laughs> made a product into hey, yeah. for, for the pocket operators. <laughs> okay, this and is we love it, of course, yeah. so we want to show that off. <laughs> okay, cool. So um, we're going to just swing around here, um, and we've got, uh, look, we've got a fort. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I, I've had it in a tilted position, uh -huh. and you could have it upstanding, mm. and uh, so we're building a proper one okay. for the for the booth display. Have you got to, if you've got to make that commitment then, you've got to make the decision when you build it. No, you can actually nope. move it and we will okay. talk about it, but we also wanted to, to show the process because mm -hmm. it's such a it's a near, uh, near sound experience to uh, rip up the package, <laughs> right. uh, look at all the bits and pieces and yeah. start to figure out what you're going to put in. And it's uh, it's a neat experience. It's mm. it's a pain to build, right? Uh, I, I want to say, <laughs> but it's it's also fun. Ah, so okay. it's, uh, and don't don't rush it. I mean, yeah. make it a, an experience. Yeah, yeah, make it part of the fun. So looking here, then we have got the uh, 
this is the little... Uh, this is the 16. The 16, the keyboard, yes. yeah. Now this is surprisingly powerful little unit. Can yes. you just give us a little kind of uh, little a little kind of whiz around what, what we can what's going on here? Yeah, as you know, we wanted to put out three different systems. So the 400, mm -hmm. the 170, and yeah. the 16. Okay. But at the time of release, mm -hmm. we weren't really happy with the functionality of this. Um, it was a development process that was quite quite uh, fast. But we missed a few things, and we decided no, we, we don't we can't stand for this. So we we pulled it mm -hmm. and basically redid the whole thing. Right. And instead of putting out something that we weren't really super proud of, now we're yeah. ex now we love it. Yeah, great. So, so basically, yeah, what we got? it's a four track mm -hmm. four tracks um, uh, sequencer great. with sixty four steps per track. Mm. Uh, up to 64, I should say. Okay, how, how, how can you see the 64 with the 16 well, steps? You, yeah, exactly, you mm -hmm. have, you cannot see it, so you have mm -hmm. to program it or, mm -hmm. um, um, or imagine it, but it's, you can, you can uh, use the, the knobs here for the, for the first three tracks, and then the keyboard track is set to scales or to uh, oh right okay so that's you got, neat. Uh, four different scales here as well oh like oh uh, yeah and okay. you have individual swing you have individual arp when we say an individual we're saying for the four tracks yes four so separate arps in there then four separate oh. arps four separate swing settings neat okay uh, because you that's also have cool. midi out yeah and you have pocket operator on the side here mm. so you have pocket operator sync out as well nice um, so it's a it does send four MIDI channels, uh, one to four. So you wow. can use it as a MIDI sequencer, or you can sequence any the, any system basically. Right. Yeah. Great. And that, this is yeah, the moves to the one seventy. Okay. Which is uh, the keyboard integrated with a, a few of the. Okay. And uh, yeah. So that's the the sixteen. So every, it's all the same, of all the uh, right. functionality yeah. in these two, mm -hmm. and you get some added. Yeah. So. Uh, and this is just like a, a quite a simple single voice. Yeah. yeah, let's see. Yeah, there's some sound now. Mm -hmm. This is adding some modulation. Yeah. Um, so, and then this is going to our speaker. Aha. Now uh, this is an interesting thing. This is that link with that uh, Scandinavian, that's yeah, Swedish yeah. mega mega company IKEA. And yes, we didn't think of the uh, build your own style <laughs> <Right>. first. <laughs> uh, but we. Uh, right. So this so is it's a kind of logical sort of company to sort of hook up with, really. Yeah, I suppose sure, sure, the flat, definitely. the flat pack. And this is something for our camping setup that we use ourselves. Ah, I was uh, going to come to camp. Yeah. But uh, here's a neat little thing as well. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, I, this is the first thing I ordered when when I when we had some people coming in to <laughs> do more accessories. Yeah. Uh, see through. See through bags. Easy one sweet. flying. Yeah. You put your toiletries or you put your cables or you put <laughs> whatever. You oh, want. mix them together. <laughs> Yeah. So you said about camping. That's like the theme this year. Yes. And, and outside, you've got some camper vans. Uh, yeah, we do. We have actually two of them that we drove down. Oh, nice. Um, and we did did some stops on the way. So we went to <laughs> Amsterdam and Paris and and uh, met some people. And uh, huh. we had a modular, uh, not a picnic, but a, a meetup. <laughs> nice. Um, because like batteries, bat we can you can yeah, run yeah, yeah. You, we can run everything then sort of battery powered, yes. well, in including this, including this. Oh, and actually, nice. Uh, this can be powered from the same um, same wall power, so it, it can run off batteries, but then it would uh, last uh, five hours maximum. Okay. But if you if you run uh, wall power. Then you can power this internally and also link that. So you could. Oh, okay. I'm not sure exactly how many systems you can run off of one, but you can link them. Oh, that's cool. And then power everything. Wow, cool. So, uh, in, like, right. So let's talk about. So available, availability. Yeah. Available. Avail these are available now. Available. Yeah. Will be available mm -hmm. soon. Soon. Yeah. Oh, soon. Okay. Yeah. Soon. Soon. Right, soon. And but the IKEA speaker is still a, 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 a way yeah, off. Yeah, I so don't far. even have uh, any info about availability, but, okay. but it's something we uh, look forward to at least. Yeah. And uh, we'll just have to say about prices then. So what have we got now? We got um, we five five forty nine. Five forty nine euros. Three ninety nine. Yeah. One fifty nine. One fifty nine. Yeah. Excellent. And then the individual modules as well. Yeah, yeah, Are they right. going to be available to buy as separate? Yes, as, that's right. what we've been communicating. I still yep. don't have any update on that, but mm -hmm. uh, 
I hope so, definitely. Um, nothing has, has changed, but we don't have any update on that either. But we said before we, we would start at 29 euros or something. Oh, okay. So we, we want to try to make it uh, affordable. A, a true portable, mm -hmm. or sorry, a true modular, true modular. experience with yeah. this. Excellent. Well, Tobias, thank you very much. Excellent. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> you, yeah, really exciting times. Yeah, so the little thing, when we were talking about the sampling on the OPZ, the, the way that the sampling is initiated, or rather the, the kind of to turn sampling on, yep. is using the accelerometers, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. So this is, when you flip it up like this, you see the, the LED turns on, that means mic mode is, is and, that, and we can see the little mic there. That, yeah. yeah. And then when I hold this button here, mm -hmm. that, that turns on and I can... Ah, right, so red, red some for vo record, some right, volume record. Here. So that's and then a, there's also if you uh, connect a standard headset. Yeah, and that's like can I just pop out, that's like a three pole with a yeah. the headset with a microphone in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All the way. There we go. <laughs> <Come Forward. on. laughs> yeah. uh, so then, if I engage that, then oh, yeah. it's headset mode, and I can use you this can use the mic on the headset. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So that sort of really makes it super easy to sample, and and I guess that, that's cool. You can just directly point it at... Uh, you can use this as your microphone if you, if you want to. Oh yeah, yeah, cool. For, for your demos. <laughs> Excellent. Okay.